One thing. Why, before this whole thing starts, yes. I want to say one thing. Okay. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for Darko, whether it be a reaction, putting us on a playlist, anything like that. Thank you. Bro. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for making fucking bangers, man. You make, my, my job's easy. You guys got to go in there and fucking make the noises and shit, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But I'm dude, always ready to fucking bring the weirdness. Let's do it. <laughs> I bring the weird, dude. Honestly, yeah, it's 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 been it's been. I feel like I've talked with you back and forth like over the years for 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 a while now. But it's cool to yeah. finally actually get the chance to to talk with you and shoot the shit. And again, you guys dropped a new fucking EP today, which I was not expecting because I I saw from your tweet. I can't wait for you to hear it. I can't wait for you to hear it. We're we're playing the whole. <laughs> nothing else came out today, anyways, because it's the thirtieth. You guys are ballsy as. Fuck. I love that. Let's go. Right. So Let's we're going to be playing the whole thing in its entirety, going through it, talking about it. But you got, I remember you were tweeting, oh, yeah, by the way, EP is going to come out too this year. And I was like, <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. I know. It's way. so crazy. So, like, I really, 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 really wanted, because I was already working on new music right. when that record was done. And it was a goal of mine. I was like, I really want to be able to release this within the same year so that we could have two releases in one year. Right. And then it just so happened that I wanted to put it out at literally the last day before the new year <laughs> so it could still count as two records in one so year. I was like, let's go. Can't. Let's go. Y'all playing fucking video games with IRL music industry shit? Yo, I fucking love real. it, man. Cause like thank no, you, thank no you. No one else would do that, and I fucking love that you yeah. guys are just like, well, we got music. Why not? Like, let's give it to the people, right? And definitely, like, definitely, yeah. Again, I, I, I'm so stoked <laughs> just to talk with you about all this because Darko, I feel like has been such a cool project to watch grow, and you guys have just done your thing for. How, when would you guys form technically? Was it 2019 uh, or was it? I would say it was <clears throat> the first song that we released. It was 2020 of April, okay. I believe. Holy yeah, f yeah. Yo. Divine Void, that was the first song that we put out in 2020. Holy s***, man, 2020. Y'all yeah. are youngins, but y'all are kicking ass. Like you've been <laughs> in the, well, I mean, that's the fun thing is because you you both individually have been doing your things forever, right? Like you with yeah, obviously definitely. Mirror and now Spite and, and then Tom, mm -hmm. obviously Chelsea Grin and Lauren before that. Um, yeah. So you guys are fucking veterans, but it's cool to see, you know, that duo. And then Ash Tone as well, being a homie. And you guys really feel, I, I, again, to me, at least from the outside, it feels like you guys are like this, like, perfect trifecta team. Yes. That just yes. come together and make fucking bangers. Like, it's... My whole thing is that, like, when I first started this, I wanted to keep the same team that we do for everything. So it's yes. like... Matt is a fucking gangster. Love Matt. Shout out Ashtone. Let's go. He's a fucking beast. He's local too. So it's really Amazing. great for me to be able to like, hey, I could drive 20 minutes to the studio right now and we can work on this stuff right now. And we're in person. And it's so much different yeah. when you're in person working on music rather than just like, oh, I'm going to send this mix to this guy and I'm going to get it back and have to send him all these notes and do all this stuff and yada, yada, yada. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It's so much easier when he's someone right there. And same thing for like when we do merch or if we do videos. Shout out Norbert. Let's fucking go, dude. Norbert is absolutely insane. One of the coolest people yes. that I've ever met. And I'm so happy that I met him to be able to do that stuff. But yeah, so I try to keep the same team. It's like we got the same dude that'll do like merch stuff, video stuff. We have Matt doing audio stuff. So it's like we're we're pretty much very 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 all tight together and we all know what we want to do and kind of like you know what i'm saying it's easy to figure out so mm -hmm. i i've had dude i have a lot of musicians on here and they they'll they'll talk about the band and how much they love the band and sure the people they work with but they never really put that word team together because it's yeah. always changing right you know people yeah they they, they you know, especially with labels and management and everything's always switching and then there's timelines and all this i love that that's your guys you know perspective and mindset is to build a team because definitely nothing yeah. stronger than that everyone wants exactly to succeed right mm -hmm. it's not just yeah. well, let's hire this person pay them and then they do the thing i get the thing and then you know you don't talk to them ever again it's like yeah yeah, yeah. no you guys have that fucking team you know what's up when that song gets out regardless that i know obviously it's you and, and technically tom that own darko right yeah. but it's like i'm sure it feels yeah. like a huge win for everyone when you guys get something out which is absolutely and it's so cool just because like it's cool to see the growth of everything with the people that you do the stuff with because yes. it's like compared to the very first drop that we did 
with like music and merch and videos and stuff compared to like where kind of like what we're doing now it's just everyone's kind of doing their own thing and just getting better and better so it's yeah. it's so cool to see because you guys yeah. all get better together that's the exactly thing, right? yeah and it's yeah. like and i always want to keep it like that too i always just want to make sure that we have mm -hmm. the same people that are always on board doing the same thing and it's just it's nice and easy <laughs> that's fucking beautiful man because it's, it's such yeah. a rare mindset and it's it's also i guess a luxury in the music industry because most of it is just well you have your fucking you know five member band and you get to your label and you get to management and it's all this and they decide everything and who's working exactly with and budget wise and that's why a lot not a lot of people get to experience that whereas you guys have this perfect dynamic duel which even in a lot of my content when i'm when i'm not reviewing darko i'm usually talking about if it's like industry stuff i'm like your guys set up and how you have this dual setup and then obviously of course ashton and then norbert um and then, yeah. you know everyone else you guys are working with it's like this is self-sustaining this is futuristic in that sense like this is forward pushing where it's not just oh well every two years wait for the album hope it does well and everyone can can buy christmas gifts for their kids definitely it's like <laughs> no nah, you guys just do yeah. the thing you work together you can work faster and more efficiently because you're a team and you make yeah. better fucking music because of it exactly yeah no it's crazy dude and honestly like since the very beginning me and tom <clears throat> when we've been whether it's like writing music whether it's even just shooting the sh shout out tom Tom literally is so goaded, one of my best friends, best dude. Me and him met, I think it was 2016, 2017. We did a tour together. And ever since then, like, we were just, we were boys. We were really good friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was working on music. It was 2019, probably towards the end of the year. And I was just, like, talking to him, just like, yo, I'm working on this stuff. Uh, if you want to check it out or whatever. And me and him have been talking a lot then. And he was just like, yo, I want to put some vocals on this. Like, w would you be down? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm super down. Let's oh, do it. Yeah. And then that's just like kind of how it ended up. So it was like, that's why at the beginning of 2020, we ended up releasing that stuff. And that dude has been such a good friend, uh, inspiration, uh, a mentor almost in a way. Like he's just, he's goaded, bro. He's, he's the sickest dude ever. And it's so cool to be able to do this with him because i couldn't imagine doing it really with with anyone else so dude that's fucking beautiful and as, again yeah. as a <laughs> as a person again even coming from more of the youtuber realm and collaborations being such an important thing you know working with somebody else and 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 trying to limit as many crazy variables and instead put variables that you can actually control with people that you trust and you care about to make really cool definitely shit. it's so fucking yeah. important so i'm so glad you and yeah. tom have that that's absolutely awesome and i'm it's so awesome. excited because you guys have again if you guys haven't checked it out darko us i can't i can't wait for you to listen <laughs> dude to i'm fucking stoked i mean dude ani was my number one album of the year like i'm not i wasn't yeah. just saying that for the fuck of it like i was like no this is the best album yeah ever. you know like you guys are breaking this boundary of modern metal which i'm fucking love of having these fun sh chill like shoegazy vibes yeah you know, that you can like be dreamy and hang out and then literally have nightmares it's dream it's it's sweet <laughs> dreams and nightmares honestly the best way exactly. to describe what you guys do right it's so cool because like when we started this like me and him even talked about it, it's just like we wanted to be able to do what we were inspired by right so it's like i i personally i listen to metal very very not so often right like i'm probably listening more to like I don't even know if you would call it as a genre, but just like something that's chill or has like a nice synth or like right. nice singing Vibes. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's like, I also was very inspired when I was in a band with Josh because oh, dear, I was yeah. so young when I first met him and when I first started playing with him. And he also was sort of like a mentor guy to me too, to where it was just like, he taught me so much and showed me so much stuff that it was like, all the stuff that I record and put out for this stuff, it's just like all of my inspirations from other kinds of music right. and other kinds of stuff. That's why it's so cool. We can kind of break things up and be like, okay, I want to have something that's so vibey yeah. right after you just got punched in the face a hundred times. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like a good description, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I like the flow of records. Another band that I got, a lot of inspiration from loathe their yes. record it flows so well with how heavy it can be and then just with how 
amazing it could be with just soft stuff or like singing or like whatever it could be it just it flows so well and it's like i like listening to a record like that because i like getting punched in the face but maybe not like every fucking second well, you, <laughs> you know what i mean you can't like appreciate the punches in the face then if it's only exactly that you, yeah you're just like oh that's cool like that's happening and that's that's why I keep kind of describing this new era, especially what you guys are doing. It's just like, here's modern metal. Here's some deathcore stuff. Here's some fun lo-fi stuff. Here's some shoegazy stuff. Here's some exactly. death metal stuff. You guys can just do whatever the fuck you want and yeah. not be put in this box, which is, I think, must be so relieving for you. I mean, and you've been in bands where, of course, the bands have a sound. You know, you got a right to Yeah, the, definitely. The sound, definitely. That's what people listen yeah. for, right? Which is yeah. this. You guys can really do anything as long as it sounds yeah. good, right? That's what's cool about it is I feel like we kind of put ourselves in a spot where we kind of can just be creative to how we are and do kind of what we want to do. So it's like if we want to put out some super soft song, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Or if we want to put out a super heavy song, that's just what we're going to do. So it, it's cool to be able to have that diversity because it really does help a lot whether it's listening to the music or whether it's just like it, it keeps you a little uh, right. spread out from like other bands and stuff you know so yeah it's cool wonderful world what a wonderful world i did wonderful not expect a dark old record to start like that are you fucking serious <laughs> Cyberpunk, you know, crazy, crazy bone. <laughs> Y'all gotta make people sign fucking waivers before listening to this job. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's... <laughs> with this, okay, so with this EP, I really wanted to do something that was like, maybe to some people this still sounds technical and crazy, but like, I wanted to keep it kind of more simple, heavy, like we did on the first EP that we did. So it's like, a lot of the music that we're doing on this one, I just try to keep it like fun and heavy and simple in my own way. I guess that's yeah, that's that's, that's yeah, very. That's some simple. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's, dude, some simple. that's some simple. You <laughs> know, Jesus, man. I mean, okay. So first of all, first track of the of the EP again. We're we're gonna keep it going here. Okay, so there's four actual songs on the record. Okay, two of the songs are like nice little interludes to relax gotcha. to okay so kind of like how i was saying i get inspired by other kind of stuff that's thrown in there but the last song on the record too i don't know if you saw we did like a contest thing like seven months ago oh, that was eight months ago that or was something like this that record the last that's song. for this so okay. the last song on the record is from that so okay yeah. sick dude that that's just such a fun cadence to it rhythmically tom's got the craziest Cadence is he's wild. Oh, what the? Land in right here. Let's go, baby. No. <laughs> That's landing. <laughs> what? I definitely get a lot of inspiration from Josh. I'm sure everyone can see that. I'm a very rhythmic player, right. very like percussive player rather than like a shredder riffer. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. I, I try to do what I can, but still keep it creative and like keep it fun and mm. stuff. You know what I mean? Well, I, th I think it's, it's, it's this, it's a really interesting new age where especially like guitar, a lot of guitarists who are also like crazy fucking shredders are using the guitar as like an effect. Like it's really weird, you know, like yeah. you're not seeing yeah, as definitely. many like. In, insane shreds everywhere in like modern metal necessarily it's already kind of leaning towards more of that per production percussive elements i mean even a, definitely even a band fucking which uh i mean the vocals got a little canceled now um, lotus eater they they it's like that, that band was crazy dude cameron is a i fucking love cameron he's insane so dude that music yeah. was just so crazy that it's it's so re like you said refreshing yes 
and it's so creative and cool in its own way that mm -hmm. it just makes you excited when you're listening to it yes and i, I thought that's, it's like he yeah. i'm sure takes that drummer approach first as well like that rhythmic groove when it comes to writing stuff like that and it's just this definitely different fun i couldn't vibe. play you a fucking a g chord or a fucking whatever <laughs> chord if you if you told me to like i i'm, I'm not crazy with like that stuff but right. i definitely just i don't know i just sat there for at least a couple years and made a hundred bad songs until i felt like i was like okay I want to put this out or like i want to get ready to do this you know yeah okay well again second la jesus landed i thought i can't believe he can, like that's i thought i was like that's tough so when he was doing the lows like the mids yeah. i was like yeah that's yeah landed. i was like those that's tough yeah right oh, man, yeah it's no it's he he crushed it what? shout out landon let's go two vocals are wild nowadays man i have no <laughs> idea what's happening <laughs> i have no idea what's everything's happening. getting so crazy and so like over the top and so just wild it's like what's gonna be the next crazy thing yeah. that vocalists do well I you mean, know what i mean i mean you guys are it's like i feel like the last year mm -hmm. It was like the crazy snarled, whatever kind of noise you can make. It's like, what's going to be the next thing next year I don't that know. people are going to do? I have no clue, man. I have no, and even too, well, that's the thing is like, and, and fucking shout out to fucking Matt because that like going like A0, that is a, a scary area to enter when you're going that yeah you you, don't, you can't hear anything you don't know what's going on <laughs> you're like dude what is this how the hell am i gonna be able to like make this come through or do anything like it's so low and so absurd that it's just crazy but yeah shout out matt he crushed this mix i feel like every time we work on a record together it's mm. just better and better each time yeah. so I'm always gonna. I'm always gonna be doing stuff with Matt. Matt is Ash Tone Audio. Yes, I always say Ash because it's Ash Tone Darko. Audio in chat. Yeah, Ash as yeah. but actual Ash. name is Matt. Real name is yeah. Matt. Oh, that's peaceful. PlayStation loading screen. I'm seeing the little blue cube and it's just floating around. Uh, yeah. I want stuff people can like lay down and close their eyes to. Straight up after just getting assaulted. <laughs> Bro, that, uh, yeah, that's an assault. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy for sure. It, it gets a little crazy, all right. Um, yeah, that song. That song's dope. That's that's probably my favorite song on the whole one. Just because how weird it is. It does so much weird, fun stuff. <laughs> You're just like, what the what the hell is going on? It's cool. After that, okay. This last song is another cool, just like little interlude thing. It's an instrumental that. The contest winner, his name is Ben Shalfant or Shalfant. I'm not sure how to say the last name. Ben, you crushed it. There were so many submissions for this thing. I went through so many things. I've listened to at least a thousand submissions of stuff. And this was the one that I picked out. I thought was dope. It gives me like Apex Twin vibes. It gives me like cool, weird, breakbeat, electronic, just noise, sounds. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that I like. So it's like, I don't know, it's really cool that we were able to do that and kind of, you know, go through all these different things and listen to all kinds of different stuff. And yeah, shout out Ben. He he shout crushed this. And I'm so stoked that he could be a part of this record. Really cool. And Nick's still recovering. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still recovering from that. What the? I'm still, <laughs> I'm still recovering. Dude, like. The last one, it's always crazy. <laughs> it's 
just like it's it's that last breakdown it always gets me too even when i listen to it now i'm like damn that's that's a little crazy that's, that's <laughs> damn that's too, too far crazy. for me it's like shit dude we really opened up a special pit of hell that we weren't supposed to that time we went a little too far in the fucking ritual holy shit. absolutely um, it's so funny because there's like and i mean i you know again like there's there's you know it's, it's there's metalcore bands and in the core scene and they're always the oh we're gonna release our here is we're coming we're gonna release our heaviest thing yet everybody we're coming back <laughs> we're not in fucking, you know we we are tuning down from fucking drop b now we got seven strings you know we got fucking double kick you know it's gonna be our yeah. heaviest fucking and then you just listen to this and you're like, bro, uh, this is children's talking versus this is this is like the 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 granddad. And then we got the little child playing the in the granddad. playpen with their little heaviness meter. We're like, oh, it's so, yes, Sonny, you yeah, you 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 got a little Johnny. You, it's going to be so f yeah, that's nice and heavy. All the kids are going to do the mosh. What the f did you summon Cthulhu in this, shit, dude? It's definitely just weird. <laughs> That's all I could say. It's so it's weird, weird, and I'm so happy that people like it, and I'm so happy that you like it, because I'm not even kidding. There's times where I am at home, and I'm working on stuff, and I'm just like, is this too weird? Is this too, like... I know it's funny to say over the top, <laughs> but it's like, is this like even too over the top or like too weird, but... I'm I'm happy to see that that you enjoy it and people enjoy it. That's really cool, dude. This is uh, like <laughs> I, 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 okay. Let's 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 finish the EP. And I definitely want to, I want to talk about it as a whole. I'll talk talk about Darko and everything. Last song on the record. Sorry, what would you what was what's the name of it? Lone Exo. So this okay. is all Ben Shalfant, if I'm saying that right, or Shalfant. I'm not sure. It's, it's... <laughs> but he crushed it. It's cool. Someone said Death Grips. Yes, definitely gives me Death Grips vibes, 100%. It's like you guys are touching so many different genres that it's like limitless potential. You could collab with the dubstep artist on a song if you wanted to, you know? That would be tight. I would love to do something like that. Yeah, that would be super cool. It's yeah. so cool that you guys are making I, the most extreme music I've heard in this insane <laughs> but you still have probably the most freedom out of any band to mix your music with anything <clears throat> darko us death mask part king two let's go and also we have more music coming soon how so. how <laughs> just, do you got you do you guys sleep how the f do you guys write so much <laughs> we actually I'll, I'll just say it on there we're we're going to record a new album with matt in march so hopefully we'll have another album out by summertime probably like midsummer or something like that a full album this time not just the ep <laughs> the grind alone blows my fucking mind like you guys are you yeah. are in full-time touring bands both of you too like yeah. both of you are in touring bands this is like and it's like you guys are releasing multi records Every yeah. fucking year. Like, what? I get really inspired by hip-hop artists because I notice a lot that, a lot in hip-hop and, like, rap and stuff like that, I mean, they'll put out four records in a year or something yeah, crazy yeah. like that. And it's like, I'm looking at it nowadays where it's like, I feel like everything now is so fastly consumed, like, everywhere you go, whether it be YouTube, Spotify, yeah. whatever it is. You could put out a record, but it's not like it was before where you could put out a record, tour on it, listen to it for two years, and then do another one. Right. Everything nowadays is so, the, the attention span is so short that it's like people constantly want the next thing. So it's like if you can keep up with that and you can constantly put out music and constantly push it, I have more power to you. Like I... I want you to do that because it's like people want it dude people want to listen yes. to new stuff all the time like we just put out a record i think three months ago or four months I, ago i'm aware i listened to it three four and months i was ago. already like dude i want to put out another record and like we're done with this one pretty much like we should just put it out before the year ends like people will be excited about it and people seem super stoked so it's like i i get really inspired by that kind of thing where it's like right. put out the the more stuff that you can as much as you can you know well that's that's such a healthy mindset you, like i love that everything you guys do 
it breaks this mentality that the music industry has and has had for Definitely. so long. What you know, yeah. whether it's obviously you know needing a label or fucking crazy management or all these so many you know hands into something that are only in like five percent of what you're doing, right? Instead of like building a yeah. team. And, you know, release schedules and, like, needing to tour for the main thing. And, like, all these, like, your guys, f you know, f you're still, you're making music. And that's the goal. You're musicians. But your focuses are on, it's almost like this more, just such a modern perspective of how to yeah. do all the things. Even even merch yeah. with limited runs. Like, that's a very modern way to do things, which is great. And I'm sure it does fucking well for you guys, which is sick, right? Like, it's... Yeah. it's, it's you guys have all these modern ways to do this stuff, but you're doing it on your terms while still giving people just what, what they want, which is music. <laughs> like, Yeah, what? that's what it is at the end of the day. It's like people just, they want to hear new stuff all the time. And honestly, I get the same way too. Like I'll listen to a record for maybe a month straight. Yeah. And it could be my favorite record ever. Like yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, this is so amazing. I want to listen to this all the time after that month passes i'm already on to the next thing yep you know what i mean so it's like it's so hard because it does move fast so it's hard to be able to put out consistent stuff and stuff that that actually you think is good right in that time period where it's like holy shit, we're moving kind of fast here but right. it's like if you can keep up with it and just keep that's why it's so cool about what we're doing is we can be as creative as we want to be right. and we can kind of go in any lane that we want to be. And that's kind of how we've always wanted to do it is just being able to do different kinds of stuff. And I feel like it, it just makes it feel fresh and makes it feel, you know, a little more digestible mm -hmm. at times. Cause if it was like, if we did a record where it's just 14 songs of just like break down, break down, break down, break down, break down, break down, break down. Right. It'd be like, Oh my God. Like, but it's cool to be able to split it up like that, have different different kind of things in there. And yeah, honestly, it's it's crazy moving at that kind of speed. I think that's what gives me motivation and inspiration to constantly create right. is just being put under uh, that kind of stress. Like, well, not stress, but being put under that kind of pressure like that. You know what I mean? Right. Well, it, and it's just, yeah. again, it's having that all all in place and this in just unique mentality of how to approach things it's it's uh, it's something i even mentioned when you guys started to release songs was i love that you guys are instantly setting the tone that you will not be put in a box because so many yeah. bands they make a, a, a mistake or not i mean there's tons of successful bands that do it where it's like here's the first two albums where it's this sound it is this you know here's the death we are deathcore we are metalcore yeah we are post yeah. or whatever the fuck it is right and yeah. then the problem is after two albums, when they do want to try to do new shit, their fan base is already like, uh, that's not what we fucking followed you for. What, exactly. What is this? Yeah. Which you guys instantly set the <clears throat> set the standard and set the, you know, just a, um, way of good things going of like, hey, we are going to do all this shit together. And yeah. it creates yeah. more of this expectation that makes sense because you guys set that right yeah. away. Right? Yeah. So you guys... Thankfully... Can, yeah. I think what really helped a lot was um, when we did Donna, I always had, you know, uh, this idea of wanting to do this certain video for my grandma, mm. with like my grandpa involved and all that stuff. And like, we finally had it come to live and writing that song and having it all ready to go and stuff. I was like, this feels right to put out no matter what you right. know what i mean like i don't care if people don't like it i don't care if they do like it like well i do care if you like it but <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. i just i just wanted to put it out there and because people were they the music that they listened to from us before was just like rah 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 and like hella crazy and, sh and they're right. just like what is going on like this is insane so it was ta it was taking a huge step to be able to put that song out and be like okay this is it like I remember sitting there the day before we released that song and I was just like, I really hope that people like this or at least understand what's going on or whatever it is, you right, know what right. I mean? And ended up being really cool. People really liked it and it was so awesome to be able to do that because it just allows us to kind of do what we want to do for that kind of stuff, you know? Like we could put out a soft song next for a single yeah, and 
it, it, it is what it is, you know? Well, it's, it's such a fun and it just interesting dynamic because you guys, like I said, are so extreme in one way. But so yeah. extreme the other where it's funny that it gives you more freedom than like I'd say 90% of deathcore bands couldn't do anything other than deathcore. And even metalcore yeah. bands, you know, if, if they released a softer song, they would get more pushback than I think you guys releasing a softer song. Because That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You set the standard I don't know. so early on. Yeah, I feel like nowadays, this is one thing that I notice touring in the States everyone is so just like uptight <laughs> and they either only like this band or they only like this band they'll go to this show where there's five bands playing right and they only like two of the bands that are playing there and yeah. the other three bands they're sitting there like this the arm crossing oh yeah <laughs> you go to europe and every single person there is just like so happy to just like listen to the music right. enjoy the music everyone's having a good time there's no ego there's no weird stuff going on and i feel like music should be like that like no matter what like even out here it's like if bands want to try something else or do something different because they feel that's what's right just just rock with it and enjoy it you know what i mean or like even if it's not your thing there's no reason to like bash it or like make fun of it or shit on it you know what i mean because i feel like like you said it could be a metalcore band that that has done the same kind of stuff and then maybe they do a softer song and they're just getting like trashed for it or yeah. something like that it's like but you, there's no need for that you like, guys also you do everything you do it well that's that's the thing where i feel like a lot of bands that try to do the multi-genre thing let's say are just like having no limitations is they're kind of you know they're built for the limitation you know like they've as a band yeah. and they do that one thing and when they try something new they they don't prep like their audience almost they don't set a, a standard or an expectation of what it could kind of go for as well yeah. as it's it's it seems a lot more forced sometimes when bands do it whereas like you guys set that standard so early on and it's just felt so natural because the thing that ties the extreme of what the f hellish cthulhu summoning that you guys do <laughs> as well as the like i want to just like vibe and like close my eyes on the couch and yeah. just like listen to like the ocean you know and this exactly is, yeah is emotion yeah. and you guys will emotionally give just as much love to the heavy songs as you will the soft songs but you mm -hmm. translate them through emotion in such a natural way where it's just a, yeah. if you if you're just a listener of music and you emotionally connect to something you'll just fucking connect to either or it won't be this oh here's the radio song versus here's the song for the you know heavy kids and, and the moshing and then here's the song for this it's just you're just like no like definitely here's, here's emotion and if you fuck with the vibes yeah. you fuck with the vibes that's it yeah yeah i get i get super inspired by emotional kind of music or anything that just makes me feel any kind of way right that's kind of why i wanted to start making songs like that and putting stuff like that in our music just because it's it, it just feels good yeah. you know what i mean like you could listen to a song that just has a vibe to it and like maybe it makes you think about this or maybe you, you're getting goosebumps or right. whatever it is it's like at least you're feeling something and that's so important just like listening to music is just like capturing a feeling and capturing a moment it's it just makes it nice, you know? 100%, dude. And again, like, yeah. if you guys just join us, we're joined with Josh Miller, Darko US as well, Spite, Darko US just released Hello, a brand chat. new fucking EP, Death Mask Part 2. We just finished it up. Go stream it. Show the boys the love. Dude, I got, I mean, before, before we call it for that, I got to say a few things. Number one, first of all, um, yeah. you know, Ani can set the standard for you guys, no doubt. Like, you guys went all out. You tried a lot of fun shit. <laughs> The features were all great. Every song was fun. It was the heaviest I've heard you guys and the most vibey I've heard you guys. This, I, I don't know how in, in just four, three months later, y'all are just like, <laughs> all right, let's just like go harder and in both directions, but also have the middle ground and find ways to connect them so naturally. And even the yeah. features on this too, like it's, it's so like you see it on paper and you're like, how does that work? And you hear it and you're like, that works because they made it. Yeah. Just works. And dude, I got like listening to this. This is some of the heaviest, gnarliest what the f I have heard <laughs> in my fucking life. Thank you, um, dude. Thank you. And the interludes too are just so beautiful and relaxing. And I and just the fact that you guys literally have a full album and then you threw out an EP <laughs> a few months later, right before the end of the year, 
and you're just like yes. why not like i just yeah. gotta give you a mad fucking mad thank claps you. mad prop thank you so much for that because no fucking band <laughs> would do that for it's just yeah. not gonna happen they won't because it's risky no one's gonna take that risk in the industry when you know they have to wait two years every time dude i was scared to put this out i was scared anything that we've ever put out i've been scared to put it out mm. i remember the first time we ever put out our first song right the divine void song or whatever i was so nervous to put that out because no one's ever listened to any of this before no one right. knows what the sound is no one knows any of that stuff so scared okay we put out a couple of singles and i'm like i'm so scared to put out this this first album like i don't right. know what people are gonna think i don't know what's going on and then same thing for the second record i was so scared like i was just like i hope that people can appreciate at least you know the more uh elements that we've added to the music because it definitely is a little there's more elements going on than the first record for sure there's just like Mm. more sounds and weird stuff and whatever is going on same thing with this because the last record was kind of different in its own way this is just like crazy heavy and fun and stuff so i was like i hope that this is uh, people still like this too you know so it's so funny again having coming from that fucking youtuber mindset and, and wanting to do like that kind of collab thing and then yeah. again because people weren't like oh, aren't fucking doing that stuff and it's like so interesting because it's such a fun dynamic and then seeing you guys do your thing. Come with Darko. Just conquer with this <laughs> new... Again, I, I think it's a much more forward way of thinking and project-wise kind of way of doing things. Where it's like you guys even fucking inspire, again, like th that kind of... Um, uh, the mindset that even what me and Andy can try to do with Terminal. Yeah. Like really just branching out, having fun, making cool shit with a couple people yeah. and building a team. Which is just so... Building the team important. is important. 100%, yes, man. it is. Same person mixing, same person running your merch stuff, same person helping you with this, whatever. You you got to have a team of the same people. You got Don't it. go around and go to other people. It's like the same thing when bands, they'll like have two dope-ass records and then they'll go record a record with like some dude from like the fucking 80s or some shit and it just like sounds like ass and it's nothing like you would want and you're just like bro that's it's like career suicide it's like why are you doing that you have a good formula and it, it works for you you should just build with that build. instead of like going way out of the comfort zone yeah and doing something completely different that's just like weird it's, I don't it's, know. it's, it's all and sometimes it can be forced right it's like it's different for the sake of different instead of different for it being natural and that's why again like you guys it's so natural and the dynamic you guys have and are building and are setting a standard in the fucking music industry of that <laughs> dynamic of being fully fucking independent dudes doing your own thing yeah. running your own having an amazing team and still making some of the most extreme music that is yeah. possible and you guys <laughs> i mean even just numbers wise I, I don't need to sell you beating band beating full bands that have all this funding and with labels and shit, just yeah. kicking yeah ass and it's just crazy like it's so crazy to see that because it's like when we when we started doing this I mean, it still is the same way how it was when we first started. We're just having fun. Right. Like, that's all it is. We're literally just writing music that we want to write, and we're just having fun, and we're putting out and just having fun with it. It's nothing, like, serious or, like, ego or, like, whatever. Like, right. it's seriously just fun. Me and him just have a good time doing this together. I'm so happy. Tom, if you are watching, I hope you're watching, or at least in here. I love doing this with you bro oh it's, it's amazing dude that's fucking beautiful dude honestly thank you for doing what you guys are doing have done already and are continuing thank to do you. somehow so much of it i love it yeah and setting thank the you, standard dude. so fucking the music industry can maybe wake the fuck up and realize that it's got to change wake the fuck up dude <laughs> wake the fuck up because you guys are doing your <laughs> and you're doing it your way how you want to do it on your terms full creative freedom I fucking respect yeah. the show that. I love it. I Thank love the you, new dude. record. This record, I, I love the new record that came out four months ago, and I love the new new yeah. fucking EP Let's go. that just came out, man. Um, Let's go. I love what you've been doing, and it's it's honestly just such a pleasure to be able to have you on the show and chat with you, my dude. Stream Death Mask Part Two right now. It just came out. Thank you so much to the chat. Thank you to everyone that came in, checked it out. And thank you, Nick, for being so cool. I appreciate it.